Good afternoon, everybody. I know you're wondering what's cooking in Boomerville today. Well, today we're going old school. Very old school. Actual old school. Sloppy Joe's. That's right, baby. Sloppy Joe's. That elementary, middle, and junior, and high school favorite. So let's get going. Um, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. It's going to be freaking awesome. What we have here is a pound and a half of ground beef uh, and about a half an onion. So the onion's diced, beef is sprinkled out. Um, we're going to get that going. Then we're going to add, this is one bell pepper and about four cloves of garlic. Uh, we're going to add a little bit of water to that to break it down. After this cooks and is crumbled, uh, we'll add, oh, almost forgot, we've got a teaspoon and a half of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper. Uh, so we'll cook all this down a little bit until it's crumbly. Then we're going to add two tablespoons of brown sugar, a dash of Worcestershire, three quarters of a cup of ketchup, uh, about a teaspoon of Dijon, then we'll salt, pepper, and cayenne to taste. So let's get going. I'm going to start this in a cold pan because if you don't, it won't want to crumble. If you add all that meat to a hot pan, it'll kind of sear and hold those chunks together. And what we want, as Chef John would say, oh, by the way, this is a very old recipe uh, that I got from Chef John. I think he did this about 10 years ago. I make it almost like he does, if not exactly like he does. So what we're going to do, as he would say, we need full crumbleization on this burger. So I'm going to stand here and do this until we have achieved full crumbleization. And when we have, I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. We've been crumbling for about mm, five minutes or so. And this is looking pretty good. So what we're going to do now is add our bell pepper and our garlic. And we're going to let this go for uh, three or four minutes just to soften that up a little bit. Still working on a little bit of crumbleization, but we pretty much have it. So we're going to let this cook in it just a bit. And I'll see you in a couple of minutes. All right, it's been three or four minutes. What we're going to do is pour about a cup of water in here just to deglaze this pan. I have two cups. I'm going to use about half of that. I'm just going to give this a stir around a bit. Get all the sticky goodness off the bottom. Then we're going to add the ketchup three quarters of a cup. The uh, salt and pepper. A teaspoon and a half of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper. Two tablespoons of ground sugar, of brown sugar about a teaspoon of Dijon. Come on, baby. Don't back like that. And a dash, whatever the hell that is, of Worcestershire. So we're going to mix this in. already smells kind of like it's going to taste, but it's going to taste better than that. Okay, next we're going to add the second cup of water. We're going to bring this up to a simmer. We're going to let this simmer on low heat 
until all of that water or most of that water has evaporated. So in a minute when it comes to a bit more of a boil I'll bring it back down to a simmer and we're just going to let this go for as long as it takes, usually 30 to 40 minutes. So when that's done, I'll be back. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy this nice margarita. Check out the channel for the recipe. It's killer. Okay, we're back. This is just a couple of minutes away from being just right. And I happen to find a pot of boiling oil. I told you we were going old school, and we are. So what do we got? We got tater tots, baby. Here we go. Sloppy Joe's just ain't the same without the tots. So I think by the time they finish cooking, this is going to be ready. I just tasted it for salt. It needs a bit. Pepper is good. And it needs a little cayenne. Actually, maybe that's a lot of cayenne. Let's see. You can tell this is ready. You don't want it to be dry, but you want it to stand on its own like that. Very close. Too perfect. I'm gonna let these go a couple of more minutes. They should start to float when you're ready. They're gonna be super good. This oil is left over from some uh, buffalo wings that I did. If you've ever been to a gas station that sold both chicken and taters. They cook the taters in that chicken oil and it's super fantastic. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, I think those tots are ready. So oh, they look good. Come on, get away from that thermometer. Ooh, that is a heaping helping of tater tots. I'll tell you. This stuff looks just right. Let's get a little bit on a bun here. I didn't do it. Usually I use low fat ground beef. I want to get a couple of pictures of this thing for a thumbnail. Oh, look at that. A little ketchup on the plate. And let's try a tot. Oh man. You know why the color is a sloppy joe now. Woo. Reaching hot, but super, super good. It goes awesome with this margarita. Mm. And that's it. You want to go back? Go back in time. Have some tots. Mm. Have some of this amazing sloppy joes. Listen to that. Yeah. 
Oh my god. Outstanding. I had a lot of tops to tackle. So I'm going to get off here and go do it. Thanks for watching. Try this one. It'll take you back to your youth. See you next time. Signing off from Boomerville. <laughs>